Thanks, Deborah. A great speech. And let me start with that. Deborah and her team have done a tremendous job again tonight and actually during the whole day with <clears throat> the events which we were running today, but also the whole year was a very successful year for Catalyst. And I think my board colleagues and I, we are very proud of serving on this board. And we would like to thank the management for what they have done. I think a round of applause for that. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to be here tonight and to present the annual Catalyst Awards. I have been involved now with Catalyst roughly four years, first on the board and since two years more or less um, as a chair. And I have to say I'm extremely proud to be associated with this extraordinary organization. As Deborah just said, yes, I retired, but I would like to share a little bit the learning of the last few months because when you are retired, it gives you the chance to join a few boards and actually to see what other companies, not your own company, actually what they do uh, in terms of diversity and inclusion. So I have joined four companies, or I will join four companies. They're in different industries, different sectors, in different geographies. They're all blue, blue chips. So one in Asia, two in Europe, one in the, in the US. But they have one thing in common. They all have a very firm commitment to developing diverse talent, and their DNI discussion is clearly starting at the board level and going through the whole company. What I've seen is a great focus on helping leaders to make the connection between diversity and business performance. I've seen that companies also have been successful in continuously increasing the number of women throughout the talent pipeline, not just at the leadership level, but also from taking, recruiting women, then through the career ladder. I have been impressed in some companies how leaders tell a clear story. They walk the talk around diversity and inclusion, and the strong alignment I have seen between developing leaders and ensuring a diverse and inclusive workforce. But ladies and gentlemen, it always starts at the top, and walking the talk is extremely important. Now, I'm also very proud that out of the four companies, ladies and gentlemen, two actually have two women as CEOs. And I think that is progress, and we should see more of that. Now, despite the progress being made in many of the companies around the world, much more needs to be done. Biases to remain, do remain, and inclusion is still not fully woven into the fabric of our companies. It is for these reasons that I'm delighted to see you all here tonight in support of this year's conference and the dinner theme, Disrupt the Default. This theme and all the events of today highlight the vital role Catalyst plays in increasing opportunities for women in the workplace. It is great to see, as I said, how these tasks are taken by the management of Catalyst under Deborah's leadership, and we are going in this organization from strength to strength. And of course, Catalyst can only do this because thanks to you here on the podium, but also to you all down there, because you give us the support, not just tonight, you give it the support all the year. So from my side, thank you for your support, and I hope that this will continue for many years so that we can actually make further progress in the years to come. <clears throat> 